What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic Internet The Gathering on real life. I am two of eight players in the queue, and we're going to do a stipulation draft today. Uh, the stipulation is by Sam Am Sam Amari. Uh, must take all Gotham's. <laughs> Force Spike, Cryptic Command, etc. Bonus points for Mana Tithe. <clears throat> all control, all the time. Only power trumps counters. So basically, we just take all the counters we can. We try to get them as many times as we can. And uh, we'll be building a sweet control deck in cube. And I have a million stipulations in the queue right now, which is pretty sweet. You guys really went all out this uh, this past these past few days. But if you guys want to support the stream or uh, do a stipulation of your own, check out my Twitch profile for information on how to do that. And this is the Mono Gotham's stipulation. That is correct. Oh, Mystic Snake would be good. I bet Mystic Snake is also bonus points. Just if Mana Tithe is, Mystic Snake is too. Let me, uh, I gotta shoot off a message about a haircut. Oh, a Mox Ruble. That's a good one. That's a little Jemmy. And this is a little Emmy. But I want to take the Jemmy because Mox Ruby is a real spicy boy. Also, <clears throat> no counters, but even if there were power trumps counters, like you do. Uh, what up, Moonlight? Manatai, this is the king of the Gotham's because they're like, well, they got one white meta. What could they do? And then they're like, Got him. It's the most got him, got him there is. Control magic? Control magic's pretty good. So we're, we're going to assume that we're going to be in the blue, the blue of the blue persuasion. Yeah, no got in here. Just got to go with control magic. Maybe we got a nice blue red, a new, a, a nice blue red boy coming up. What's up, so salty? My voice sounds gone? My voice should sound just fine. There is no issues with my voice, good sir. <clears throat> I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't feel sick in any way. I like an Ulamog. But why do I like an Ulamog is the question. Is a Rakdos Signet better? No. If these were, if these were, if either of these are blue Signets, I'd probably take a blue Signet. It might be worn Power Stone here. Elk Tears, you're in, you're in LA? Oh my god, I can't even handle this. This is not... Worlds are colliding right now. I like... I mean, Del Delver plus Gotham's does seem decent, but I mean... I don't know, man. The power level of Ulamog is just so high. If we can just cast this Ulamog somehow, I'm really on board. I took the Power Stone, though, because I'm a sucker for a good Power Stone. Venser's kind of like a Gotham. I'm going to take this Venser. We could take Kiki-Jiki and Gotham with the uh, the infinite combo. <laughs> a Gotham! <laughs> yeah, we'll just take the Venser. Mystic Snake, that's a Gotham. <clears throat> it's a green Gotham, though. Hmm... I mean, I think Venser, Venser is... Oh, Okami stream, huh? Okami, that's uh, that's legit. I'm going to take the Mystic Snake. I'm not going to say we're going to play it. Because if we're not green, we're not green. Uh, I think it's a Gotham in the same sense that... Uh, uh, Mana Tithe is a Gotham. <clears throat> it's a bonus point Gotham. But I will take this Lumbering Falls to try to facilitate this Gotham. We're also not red, just because we have a Mox. That doesn't mean anything. Alright, we're leaning towards the, the Gothams here. Ooh. Ooh, Talarian Academy. Ooh, Joyra. Ooh, ooh, the things. Are we just teamer? Are we just teamer legendaries here? Hmm. Hmm. Teamer legendaries. Is that where we want to be in life? I always want to pick Jorah too because I feel like the potential is so high. I'm going to go with Academy though just because I think it's better with these two. 
I don't know if that's correct, but it feels safer. Brontodon. I think it might just be Emrakul to promise to end. What if we just get to cast this somehow? We already have Academy, Worn Power Stone. Let's just take the Emrakul. Jace is good. But how many four mana cards? Oh, we got eight. Oh, I thought, I thought this was a channel for a second. I was like, wow, channel came back. Channel did not come back. There's a mana tithe. But... I don't think we're mana tithing here. I like bonus points, but I don't, I, don't, I don't think I need them that badly. I think I just want this Jace Architect of Thought, especially with the Mox Ruby. <clears throat> Mirari's Wig, and we'll just take the Council's Judgment. Maybe we should have taken the Mana Tithe. Maybe we are white. I don't even know. Um... So this is not red, right? So we're, we're, we're kind of bluish, greenish. I'll take the Delver here. I don't think it's great. These picks have been really strange. Maybe we're blue-red? Oh god, I don't even know what's going on. Someone else doesn't want me to have the Gotham's and it's real sad. Oh, Chain Whirly? I think we're just taking the Soulfire Grandmaster. I don't foresee us being... <clears throat> not white now. <laughs> I mean, I guess if we're a control deck, it seems fine. Unfortunately, we, we did not take the Mana Tithe, and we did take the Mystic Snake. Which is like a reverse... It's kind of like a reverse... Uh, a reverse bonus point. We could we could be Bant. Bant is an option. Yeah, this guy's not getting played. Nope, you're not getting played either. Alright. So that was a lot of cards we're probably not gonna play. That was probably the most unplayables I've I've gotten in the cube draft so far. But I think our colors are very, very strange. Or these picks were very, very strange. And uh, it made our colors difficult is really what I'm getting at. Baneslayer, Ugin, Tundra, Snapcaster Mage is kind of a Gotham, but we actually don't have any Gotham's yet. Venser's like the closest Gotham we have. I do like a Tundra. Snapcaster is a future Gotham. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's just Snapcaster here. We don't have any Snapcaster targets, but we'll get some. I guarantee it. I'm like the guy at the men's warehouse. It is a theoretical Gotham, that is correct. It is a future Gotham. Tamiyo, underground. Where are my Gotham's? I can't get him if you guys don't give me the Gotham's. I don't understand. It might just be Tamiyo here. I'm really hoping for some Gotham's. Judgment is a target, that is correct. I'll take a Tamiyo. Ojitai. That's a that's a guy. He doesn't got him though. Ashiok's also good, but we're I'd rather stick to these white cards than uh go into some weird black configuration that we don't actually have. We could also be banned with this Mystic Snake, so. Moonlight, good luck on your stream. Uh, I'm gonna take this Ojitai. Crucible Strip Mine is a Gotham. That is that is true. Uh, I don't know if it's the Gotham we're looking for, but, ooh, a Polluted Delta and a Frosty. I'm just gonna take the Frosty. Where are my Gotham's? Well, we have a deck at least. That's that's the good part, I guess. Uh, I think it's just Hollow Fountain here. I like Compulsive Research a lot, but I, I need at least some kind of fixing here. I 
that was a late for fellows. Spell pierces a got him. All right. We got a got him. <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him with the got him. Mystic Confluence next pack. One time. Mana Drain next, next time, actually. Pack one, pick one was Mox Ruby. Force Spiking Anugan is the most Gotems of all Gotems. And it's also, it leads to, it has, it contains both the best possible feelings and the worst possible feelings for both players involved. Ooh, Colonnade. That's nice. That's nice. What if that Tundra comes back? Can you imagine? I can't. This is 22 cards, so this will be our 8th pick, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, yeah. So we get an 8th pick, and then we get to see if that Tundra comes back. Sea Chrome Coast. Ooh, doggy. These lands are good. Oh, uh, I like Shackles a lot, but I don't like it uh, when we're in multicolors, and the other color is probably going to be pretty heavily represented. And this is making it pretty easy to play the white cards, so. Tundra did come back. Nailed it. Oh, man, that's really good. Maybe that Pluto Delta comes back, too. Perfect fits. I actually just saw your comment. Like, and my, my biggest problem is that I don't have proof that he was ghosting, right? I have no proof whatsoever. But it's really weird to pull an Emrakul out of your deck. People keep saying that the cards when you search your library are alphabetical order. I don't know if that's true. I would like to actually search my library to see what kind of order they are in. But... Is it sword here? Hmm. This is one of the better swords. It's not Archangel. It's not. It's either Brimaz or Sword. I think it's actually Sword because I don't really want to go too heavy white if we don't have to. And Sword is Talarian Academy good. Sword is Talarian Academy good. That's what Frank just said. Frank speak good English. Sword Talarian Academy good. Thing in the ice? Hmm. I don't think that's good for us. Maybe it depends on how many Gotems we get. I think it's good for the Gotems deck, but I don't know if we're, got, we're, we're at that point yet. Like, I don't know how, um, how the cards are ordered when you search your library. I don't know if they are alphabetical. They might be converted mana cost. See, either way, no matter how they are ordered, converted mana cost, um, alphabetical, and if unless they're just completely random, that's the only way it really makes sense that you misclicked. If they're in any sort of order, there's no order that puts Emrakul and Primeval Titan next to each other, if that's what they're going for. Oh, I like a good birthday root beer. I'm a fan of that. Show me my Gotems. There are no Gotems here. Flooded Strand is probably the best land for us, but we already have four dual lands in our colors. That's pretty good. I like Banishing Light. It's just a good, a nice little catch-all. DC Sports 8. You didn't even tell me that it was you? Why would you do that? We have so much history. That's so weird that you didn't say anything. I think it's Banishing Light here. History of Benalia is cool, but I don't think we have any... <laughs> opposition, yeah. We'll just hope to open the opposition and then we'll deal with our seven creatures. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's where we want to be. I'm going to take this Banishing Light. Oh, a Mana Leak got him's. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take the Mana Leak. Hopefully this Elspeth Knight Errant comes back. And that will do. Swords to Plowshares. 
stays at my martial arts and scalding turn are actually both picks. I was trying at the time, which adds extra stress. Oh yeah, it adds extra stress to everything. Trust me. Uh, it's probably just swords. I don't think we need any of these lands, especially when we have the old Snapperuski. Oh, the opposition is here. That's so funny to me. I don't think this is enough Gotham's. That's really sad. What up, Denmark? Oh, what up, Roberto? course. Fashion relate to the party opposition. Um, I do like, I would rather have, yeah, I would rather have creatures in our deck, unfortunately. Ill got him. <laughs> God, you guys are, this man, the name of this stipulation was worth it all by itself, I think. Um, boo. Yeah, you were my last round opponent, right? I think. I'm just going to take the opposition because maybe Amiria comes back and maybe we actually get to play this. The card is definitely strong enough. I'm going to take the Force Spike because that's a got him. I'd like to have that Karn, but we can got him. Was I 1-1? One, one? I don't know. You were either my... I played two Storm decks. You were either my first round or my last round. You might have been my last round. Like two out of my three rounds were literally Storm and I just got killed, so. Against both the Storm decks, that is. Any Gotham's? Got a Stoneforge Mystic, a Tezzeret the Seeker, which is probably not. Yeah, that's right. And then you went off literally the the exact turn you had to. Yep, that's that was a fun memory. <laughs> Good times, of course. Yeah, we'll just take Stoneforge Mystic. It's the best card in the pack, and if we end up picking up another sword, it's pretty good. So there's only 20 cards. Um, we could play Enlightened Tutor to get opposition. We have eight creatures right now. If we can, if the History Banali of Tables actually, we might have, might be able to play opposition. We could also play like Augur of Bolas and Thing in the Ice. I mean, if you're able to go off the turn Lotus Bloom unsuspends, it's very good. A lot of the times you don't have the luxury of uh, deciding like when you go off in Storm. You either have to do it like because you're dead next turn or uh, you just happen to have all the pieces at the time. So if you're able to like engineer it so that you go off when it when it happens, it's pretty good. Uh, Flicker Wisp is actually good with a Venser or a Frost Titan. Wall of Omens, Snapcaster. Yeah, Flicker Wisp is a fine, fine pickup here. Nice tendrils in there. Torrential Gear Hulk is a got him. And actually, this is actually a pretty reasonable deck to, to got him with. Uh, we have uh, these. So four, four targets, but we're not going to pick anything else from here. So yeah, I'll just take Gear Hulk. Oh, history came back. That's great. Wow, I think we just played. I think we just play. Oh, Amiria Angel with opposition. Oh, we're just we're just oppositioning all day now. Also, Skull Clamp with Stoneforge Mystic. Ooh, that's interesting as well. What's our What's our card advantage? Yeah, we're gonna take the Amiria Angel. We have opposition. Thalia. Hmm. Tangle Wire. I'll take the Thalia. Thalia against Storm is just very, very good. Um, this is 24 cards. we got to cut something. I 
I'd say Parallax Wave is probably better. Banalish Marshall. Hmm. Take Xenagos. Wow, that, that History of Banalia and that Emeria Angel on the wheel were very, very good for us. Oh, we can cut Emrakul. Yeah. <laughs> Seems good. Seems very easy to cut. Perfect, perfect fits. Thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Also, yeah, you can't. Uh, Twitch Prime is real weird on the, on the app. You have to be on your desktop, I guess. Um, is this even a, an academy deck? Probably not. I don't think it's a lumbering falls with Mystic Snake deck either. So yeah, this deck looks sweet though. And we'll just play the Mox Ruby as... Also, do we play Enlightened Tutor to get the opposition? Uh, I don't think we play Timely because the odds of us... We might not get creatures with it. It's... It's a risky card because sometimes you just do nothing with it. Like, if you're playing against Storm, it's not, you're, not, you're probably not going to gain life. You're probably not going to make any guys. Also, the sword got a lot better as well. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's. I don't know if. I don't know if opposition. Or I don't know if uh, Enlightened Tutor is that good. Also, gets History of Banalia, Banishing Light. It's not bad. And Control Magic. Yeah, it actually gets a lot of things. What can we cut for it, though? Actually, we can cut Wall of Omens. Oh, Wall of Omens taps with op opposition. Urgh. That's pretty good, actually. Like, the number of things that... Uh, that Enlightened Tutor gets... <laughs> Back to the bathtub it is! Alright, uh, the number of things Enlightened Tutor gets is actually pretty good. It gets a lot of answers. I really don't have a problem playing 41, as you guys know. Alright, done. Also, our curve is pretty low, so I really don't feel bad about doing that. 6-5. Um, Let's look at our doubles. All these are double blue skis. All these are double white skis. Yeah, we should just have we should err on the side of one one extra white or one extra blue rather. This is only fifteen lands, and I guess we can actually just add one more of you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten ten. That seems great. Done. Yeah, we can go and it also gives us another Gearhulk target, which is nice. So we can go Gear Hulk into Enlightened Tutor. Enlightened Tutor, search for Gear Hulk, Gear Hulk into Enlightened Tutor. That's pretty good. Set up all the draws. Yes. Opposition and opening hand. No. I'll keep this hand. It's pretty. Pretty slow, pretty dirtily, but I mean, this is also a stipulation where we take the most counter spells, and we didn't actually get a ton of counter spells. We got a few Gotems like Spell Pierce and Force Spike, and uh, I don't know other things. I guess <laughs> I wish we got more counter spells, but oh, I see. I see our opponent doesn't want to have any fun. They did mulligan to uh, five. Also, Dalkery sounds like one of our viewers. Is Dalkery not a stream viewer? I have to have you muted. Can you give me a wink? Let me know you care. Nailed it.
I'm just not a big fan of throwing a slick, flicker wisp out into the red black deck with uh, with mana up and f three cards in hand. Oh, coalition relic, banishing light, frosty, frosty the dinosaur. See if we exile this, like it still comes back at the end of their turn, so they can just tap it again in response. That's not very good. That's not very good. Wisp and equip. This does not actually... Flicker Wisp doesn't blink it. It actually just exiles it until the end of the turn, so that is not an option. Oh, a library. Here we go. Inferno Titan. Chandra, negative one. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Tap this bad boy down. That's old Frosty. Oh. I see. Well, we're not dead, I guess. Well, that's a blank. I don't really want to kill your Chandra. Oh, you got rid of Thoughtseize and Ophiomancer. Okay, oh, that's interesting. <sighs> Let's hit you. Even though I assume you have Eldrazi. Iona. Okay. Oh, are they putting these in one by one? I don't really want to play Stoneforge here because then they just actually know we don't have anything for it. All right. I'll be honest, I'm a little terrified of this sneak attack, especially because they're just going through their deck with this Chandra. But... Here we go. Here we go. Emrakul? Oh god, it could be anything. Oh, Wulamog. Is that Nihilator 4? That's actually just fine. That's just fine. It does shuffle though, doesn't it? Oh, that's obnoxious. One... Two, three, four. See, now we wish we put the stupid. Now we wish we put the stupid Stone Forge into play just for the heck of it. Keeping four lands here is a lot stronger than not keeping four lands. So they didn't put anything else into play, and they used Chandra already. So. I wonder if they're dead. Something's gonna happen. Makeshift mannequin Iona. Okay. I guess that's pretty good. Why end step that? That's weird. Um okay, I'm just gonna tap that down. I mean, if you have the, if you have makeshift mannequin in hand, you probably want to do it after I announce my trigger, right? And then you get to block here. That seems good. You basically just said, "Hey, go ahead and uh, <laughs> do the thing. Tap this down for me." All right. Oh, we had to shuffle. Yeah, 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 okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So not ideal. So yeah, there was no real way to uh 
There's never a way to play around that, I guess. Hmm. Josh, thanks so much, Jay Bunsen. How? Hey, is this the internet? What have I stumbled onto? And who's this ruffian? I'm, I'm not in the corner, good sir. How dare you? I don't like Parallax Wave because then, like, if they sneak attack something, you exile the creature, and then they just actually get to keep it forever, and that seems worse. Dahlia probably hurts us more than it hurts them. Thing in the Ice could be good, but if we're like bouncing their their sneak attack targets, they just get to re sneak attack. So. I'll just submit like this. I think this is actually fine. Well, we also have Mana Leak. I forgot we have Mana Leak too. So that's good. Well, this is not a hand that we're going to keep, as you can imagine. This one is, however. And we can got him. Oh, I'm so excited about this got him. Uh, I'm going to keep that on the top because we have Council's Judgment. What up, stupid Jawa? Oh, that's nice. What can we get? We can just get a history of Benalia. That seems pretty cool. Totally normal guy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, Warren Powerstone. I don't think I care about that, but we can got him. And that's important, I think. I'm going to got him. Let's get a history of Benalia. Uh oh. Blue. I hope one of these is not an Eldrazi, because that would be comical to me. Iona, Gristlebrand, Shieldred. Oh, boy. The usual suspects. Oh, that was good. Venser was great here. Or Island was great here, for Venser, rather. What if, EO can we, what if we EOT bounce our history of Benalia? That seems really good. I'm a fan. Oh, this guy's getting bounced for sure. Actually, maybe we do bounce the history and then just play Council's Judgment on, on Gristlebrand. No, I think we can just attack for a million here. Four, eight. This is like 10 damage. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> they go to one here? Oh, boy. That's pretty brutal. Yikes. Yikes. Put you to one. All right. And I am... Well, they have Chandra, so, I mean, I, I want to be able to keep them off six mana because if they go, they have eight cards in hand. If they go Chandra negative two, then we don't have a way to win, so. Ooh, 
So keeping them off six mana was pretty relevant. Oh, so we know they have Gristlebrand in hand. But they can't draw cards. And they block here. They gain a million. Now or never. Actually, if they sneak attack now, we get to choose Gristlebrand instead. So this is actually this is actually just this should just win us the game. Yep. Yep. I will choose uh, Gristlebrand. And got him. Boop. Yeah, that was pretty good. That went pretty well. I was actually tempted, so uh, I was actually tempted to order just a green shirt online, uh, so you could only see like the neck, and then you'd probably see nothing else, and you could probably see my hands. But it would literally just be uh, every everything for the shirt would be, um, you know, invisible. So. Mm, this hand's pretty good. Green gloves and a hat. Wow, this is excessive. Watch, we're in a top deck, sort of fire, sort of uh, body and mind. Venser can bounce himself, yes. That's interesting. <laughs> Dalkery, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I was like, hey, I know Dalkery. I literally, uh, I called you out. I think we're just gonna play Stoneforge because we don't want to actually draw the the sword. And I don't think they're gonna play anything broken next turn. God, famous last words, am I right? I will take sword. Oh, a green hockey mask. Okay, so basically I'm just not you're basically not gonna see anything of me. Okay. That's alright, we got it. Are they going to field of ruin my celestial colonnade? I could see him doing it. I could see it. Here we go. So long, colonnade. Colonnade. It's colonnade. It's from like it's like. Is it? Are we doing it? No, because they added mana there. All right. But if you could put on a green suit so we don't have to see you on stream, that'd be great. Big fan. Big fan. Oh, an Azorius Siggy. Okay. <laughs> God. Don't confirm that that's what I do, okay? That's true. I could just be like, hey guys, look, I'm wearing all green today. You can't even tell. Where'd he go? He's wearing a green bodysuit. It's amazing. All 
Okay, I came back. I think we just keep up Mana Leak here. And we can also sneak in a sword. Oh, they're going to do something? All right, sure. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. This is amazing. What a time to be alive. Emrakul. I wonder if they misclicked. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Here we go. We're going to get steam vents and then we're going to throw the breach this idiot into play. Oh, channel's actually pretty terrifying here. I think Mana Leak might kill them, though, right? No, maybe not. Yeah, this is going to be bad. I have... I have I have bad feelings right now. The baddest of feelings. The baddest of feelings. Oh, okay. oh, they're gonna go get their channel. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna let this happen. So if they get channel, they can't actually pay for Mana Leak. Oh, baby. We're doing it. Oh, this can't be countered, though, so we probably just want to counter this, right? Because they go channel, and then they do this, and yeah, we're just going to counter the channel. That would be really bad if, if they go Emrakul, and then they don't they get to, <laughs> to the, do the Emrakul thing, and it's just a... It's just a bad time for everybody. Oh, I like that the Emrakul's in their hand, though, because now this sword gets a lot better. But I guess they can just discard it, so. Split them up. I'll probably take whatever pile has two cards in it. Really? They could discard Emrakul to go get Eternal Witness to get their channel back? That's annoying. I'm actually going to take the Frost Titan. I think Frost Titan's better here. I said I'd take the pile with two cards in it, but then I was like, but Frost Titan. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, it's good, it's good the Eternal Witness in hand. They could definitely get Channel back out of the graveyard. They just can't discard Emrakul to do it, so. Oh, they were trying to give us the Dragonlord Ojitai, and then they had the Caracas in hand? What a, what a trickster. The old Scallion Battalion. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fine. All this is fine. We know your hand is one Emrakul, one other thing. Discard it and shuffle it. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Yep, you got it. You're gone. Get a turtle witness. One, two, three, four, five. You have six mana. You'll have seven mana next turn. You could just get something like an Avenger of Zendikar. Rafelos, sure. Three forests, not terrible. Capture those dinosaurs, those rumpin' stumpin' dinosaurs. The dinosaur on Chef Boyardee. Is he singing a Chef Boyardee dinosaur song? I'm pretty sure we just stoneforge. 
and make a dude and mill them for 10. We do not have a time walk, unfortunately. That would be just wonderful. I don't foresee you playing anything. Yeah, we're just going to play this and equip. Watch, we're going to hit this time. you ready? Uh, will I still be streaming around 6? I'm not sure. Hey, look. The channel a Eureka and the Bring to Light have all entered a Fast Bond, Thran Dynamo, Primeval Titan. Their deck is gas. Just hot. The hottest of farts is what this deck is. I'm, it's unfortunate that uh, these guys are colorless so that our sword is not going to be super effective. I think we'll ever have Mana Leak back in standard. I don't see why not. I don't think Mana Leak is incredibly powerful. But here's a here's a hot take. I think Mana Leak is actually more powerful than Counterspell. I think the splash ability and the ease of casting it, which are basically the same thing, uh, make it a little stronger than, than double blue Counterspell. That is correct. I, I said the hottest... Of farts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Crack this guy for seven. Play an Avenger of Zendikar. And then we're probably going to die shortly after. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know. How how does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? We could have got him if we actually didn't play sword. But I don't. I just wanted to play sword. Come on. Tamiyo the moon sausage. Tammy, yo, the moon sausage. Oh, we're just going to make all your dudes small when they attack. We'll play our land. Pro green is pretty good when they just... Uh... Oh, still no Emrakul hit. That's interesting. I might just want to Flicker Wisp here so that we have a flyer to attack with the sword next turn. Maybe Flicker Wisp equip. That seems good. Actually, we can just... One, two, three, four. We can actually activate this next turn, too. Yeah, I like Flicker Wisp Equip here. Well, we know one is Ruffellos, so. And they could basically search for anything, but we've made them discard a lot of cards. So, I mean, they, they might not, they, they, they can't have that many creatures in their deck. One of them is obviously a, uh, an Emrakul somewhere. It's not lethal, though, is the problem. This is 4, 5, 6, 7, and this is 8, 9. It's still probably the correct play. So, 4 mana up. Yeah, they do have Field of Ruin. That's true. I, I really want to keep the force spike up just in case. If you don't equip, then it's lethal. How is that? Four, five, six, seven. I don't understand how that works. Oh, I see what you're saying, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Yeah, but, like, how do we get past the token? Like, they just have a token on board. 
I mean, they can ruin this, and like, yeah, there's they, that's, that's just not, I, I just don't think that's accurate, what you guys are saying. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I guess we could have actually blinked one of their tokens. That would have probably been better. If we tap it with Titan, then we don't have mana to colonnade. <laughs> That's not how that works. Uh... Well, we know one of the two cards is Rafelos. All right, so now they're shuffling. Seems good. Yep, you got it. One, two, three, four, five. They don't have a ton of mana, so they can't Ulamog here, as far as I know. Uh, the question was, how do we get past the token in order to have lethal damage? I could care less about getting past the token if we're not killing them in the process. There's literally no point to do that if we're not... If we're not getting lethal through. Oh, Primeval Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, we're gonna force spike this Primeval Titan. Oh my god, are you guys ready? We're gonna got him. <laughs> and that should be lethal. That is the game, my good sir. For Spike the Prime Time, that's how you got him. Uh, ten you exactly. Boop. That was a beautiful game, my friends. That was a beautiful game. Opposition actually seems great, because if they do play something like Emrakul, we can just tap it down and not care. Same thing with Ulamog. Even if you didn't counter the Titan once you win the game. Okay, what? What? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Who cares? We, we countered the Titan. Like, it was a great feeling, because the, the, the stipulation is got him. We're trying to get him. And we got to play a force spike against a primeval titan. If you can't appreciate the subtleties and and the the majesty of plays like that in the vintage cube, then what are you even watching for? What's the point? What are you even doing with your life? The Nemo. This is the first draft I've done today. I started I started at two p.m. I. This hand's actually pretty okay. Control magic seems real strong against their deck. That's pretty good. Um, Urza, it was turn seven, but like, if you consider it was both of, we both had turn seven. It was my turn seven after their turn seven, I believe. I don't know. This is a lot of things you're doing. You have two cards in hand. This is a very interesting, very interesting life.
One, two. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here comes the channel. It's not a channel. Two cards in here. One, two, three, four. See, you have to counter things like Basalt Monolith because they just get better when you don't. Like, or the, you're, you're rather your your spell pierce and your force spikes get worse when they resolve. So, get them when you can. Oh, not again! Not again! God, I hate counters, dude. You're literally trying to sneak in. You're trying to sneak in Emrakuls. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> how do you how do you complain about counter spells when you're literally trying to cheat Emrakul into play with Channel? Come on, dude. Get some perspective. Yep. Oh my god, do we get to do it again? No, we're gonna s is survival of the fit. I'm actually so thrilled because it's a Gotham stream. It's a Gotham stipulation, so it's just so much better. <sighs> Last card, Primeval Titan, and then we can control magic that dude. Here we go. Predict it all. Yep. All right, we get to do it. They have no cards in hand, so they're in top deck mode. Saying you don't like counter spells when you're playing a cheaty combo deck is basically saying you want to play Magic alone and make someone watch you do it. Uh, excuse me, I'm supposed to play Emrakul on turn two. Uh, if you can not do anything about that, I would really appreciate it. That would make my experience more fun. But okay. My bad. Oh, that's good. I can have this. Give me that. Boo. Well, this should help our land drops in the future. So we can go Jace into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's no way they hit Avenger because then they would have just saved the land. Is it Teferi? Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, at least getting at least one attack with Primeval Titan is real good. Oh my god, Primeval Titan, Miri Angel. Oof. Let's do that. That's such gas. They play fast spawn on turn one, and yeah, and then they then they're like, I hate counter spells. They're just the worst. Let's get a, a colonnade and a sea chrome coast. Look at all my birds. Uh, we didn't have uh, perfect fits. We only had one white source before we played Amiria, so. That is not how that works, good sir. Hey, you keep watching the videos. I'll keep playing the games. How about that? All right, sounds good. 
I'm gonna trample right over this guy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Actually, we don't have to draw a position. We can light and tutor for it during our upkeep. And then this game's probably over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like they only have six lands, so even if they... <laughs> okay. The game hath ended. Well. Isn't that special? Thank you. Dijabe, thanks so much for the sub again. Welcome back. Boop. <laughs> yeah, this is good times. This is a two-turn clock, so we can just actually maximize our bird birdage. Actually, I guess we had a one, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen. I would rather do cool stuff, I guess. My god. Yeah, we just had lethal. Who cares? Cool your jets. We got opposition in play. You nerds. This is so much cooler. Oh god, here we go. Entire chat's gonna tell me I had lethal. You guys ready? Of course you're ready. Your chat. Nailed it. Look, we had lethal anyway. It was called opposition. <laughs> oh, sometimes you just get so set. You get the, you get tunnel vision for doing cool shit, and you're like, I just want to do something cool right now. I don't get, and and everything else be damned. That's what happens. <laughs> right? Well, did you know you had lethal damage on board in your game of Magic the Gathering, a deck master game by Richard Garfield? I think you were not paying attention and that uh, I would inform you that your opponent had been reduced from 20 life points to zero in that match had you activated your creature land. Okay, well, that's a good point. You nerd. Vukralez, thank you so much for the belated birthday buck. Appreciate it. Mulliganos. Oh, well, that's not good, but I don't know. <sighs> Any white source in this hand is great. We're on the draw. We get a scry. I'm going to keep it and hope for a white in two turns. It's basically like if it's top three cards or a white land, hand's good. Hand was good. Mulliganos is my favorite Italian eater. Yeah, Mulliganos is pretty good. I'm a big Mulliganos fan. Oh. Got him. They got him, Dust. Ten had lethal bits. Nice. Oh, dang. That would have been so much better if we had a thing. And by that, I mean a second white. Some style is better than lethal bits. Trojan Rage, Chad, you are 100% correct, buddy. I am in agreement with you. That was a good trade. I'll take that. One, you could have had lethal buck. That's really all I wanted. Music Manly, thanks so much, buddy. Zaxor, thank you so much, buddy. You guys are great. Can I get another white source? Is that possible? I don't want to be I don't want to be greedy or anything, but I feel like another white source would really benefit me here. Yeah, that's white source one time, please. I would also settle for a four spike last turn. That would be. I will choose you, you degenerate woman. I'm just here for the gas. Lethal's not as fun as tapping all their stuff until they give up. That's I agree with you. And I think, I feel like that that's what a lot of people want as well. However, they just don't want to admit it. Let's 
So I have three cards. We have one card. I think we're actually just going to Flicker Wisp this History of Benalia. That seems pretty good. And then we can actually Enlighten Tutor to get uh, something like Torrential Gearhulk. Ooh, do I get to eat two of these little 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 buddies? Pro play. I don't think they have anything in hand. Actually, maybe we just do we just get opposition? Attack for like a million opposition? I don't think they have anything. Gear Hulk doesn't hit anything right now. Sword is Sword on Flicker Wisp is actually pretty good. I don't think we actually care about the opposition with only four dudes. I think we actually just want Sword on Flicker Wisp. Like, opposition for four, it's good. I think Sword's going to win us the game faster. Is that true? I don't know. <sighs> well, opposition's pretty broken. Actually, Gear Hulk for Tutor seems pretty sick there. Uh... Oh, that'll do it. That'll win us the game of magic. <laughs> All right, so who's there anyway? He heard us. Uh, did someone need a tutor again? I did. I needed a tutor again, you stupid idiot. That was aggressive. You're being that guy that plays opposition? How could you? We thought you were a good man. I, uh... Everyone turns to the dark side at some point, Mathiori. Also, the best part is they didn't see any of our Gotems, so all of our Gotems can still Gotem. I'm gonna submit like this. I don't think our I don't think we need to board anything. Parallax wave is good, like if they have Elspeth tokens, but I mean, like really, you're gonna try to Parallax wave for one Elspeth activation? That's eh, not ideal. This hand's not great. It's not good. I think we're gonna ship this hand. This hand's worse, but if there's a land, it's better. So again, we're hoping for one land in the next two cards. Nailed it. God, we're good at this game. Do they just have the Gotham every game? I think we can wait. One opposition is the ultimate Gotham buck. I agree with you. I agree with your... Your Gotham observation. Your Gotham God Gotham Servation. Got Servation. Oh. We get to Gotham you now. I actually want to hit a land drop here, so we're gonna we're gonna wall of omens. And we hit the land drop that we were looking for. Fantastic. Oh, what do you name here? Opposition? I bet you name Opposition. Yeah. I would too, buddy. I would too. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna got him! That's, that's like the least thing I care about. Don't cryptic me, bro. Oh, they're picking their modes. Oh. Oh my god, they're gottoming us so hard right now. Alright, well. It was only a matter of time before we got gottomed. So. Seriously?
What do you get? Ojitai here? I mean, this is fine. The the worst you can get, I think, is Ojitai at this point. And then we can just Council's Judgment our own Ojitai. Which we're trading bribery for Council's Judgment, which is just fine. We can also just Venser it <laughs> and get our guy back. Revoker is naming opposition for obvious reasons. I mean, I wish we didn't miss two land drops, but... Torrential Gear Hulk. That almost seems worse than Ojitai, but what do I know? We don't have Colonnade. Really? I think we might just get a Mox here. Or a Control Magic to steal the Torrential Gear Hulk. That actually seems pretty good. Or we can just bounce our own Torrential Gear Hulk? Oh my god, that seems gas. <sighs> I mean, we can get opposition if we're choosing to Council's Judgment this. Um, yeah, Torrential Gear Hulk is great. We actually just draw Torrential Gear Hulk. What do we do instead, though? Our next turn is going to consist of Control Magic King, so... I still think we watched opposition in hand, to be quite honest. But I don't think it does anything at this point. Actually, it always does something. We counsel's judgment this guy. They're probably out of counter spells. I like Moxer because it actually puts us one step closer to Frost Titan. Which is probably game winning. It's basically like hitting a land. I don't think we need that, though. Sure. Uh, Worn Power Stone we have to actually cast, though. We can't cast Worn Power Stone for free and also cast Venser next turn, so... We can also put Hollow Fountain to play Tapped, which is nice. And still cast the Venser. They already played Days, so the only thing we have to worry about is like Force Spike. Or not Force Spike, um, Force of Will. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was a solid turn. Solid turn confirmed. Five cards to three cards. We both have the same amount of lands. We have a Venser and they don't. Monastery Mentor is pretty obnoxious. I think I just want... Oh, wow. Do I steal that? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Do you get rid of your Phyrexian Revoker? Ooh. Come on. No whammies. Oh, what do you choose? Yep, I guess we'll choose that as well. All right, that seems fine. That's really good. We probably should have gotten rid of the Monastery Mentor when we had the chance, but we can counsel's judgment still. Also, they can't... Um, they can't do both, so they can only activate it once. So we're just going to kill the Monastery Mentor. Uh, we could have chose the Mentor there. Actually, that would have been insane. You're right. I misclicked. Well, not misclicked. I actually didn't consider that because it's actually very, very subtle. Uh, usually you never want to do that. Yeah, that's crazy. 
I just gave them a free dude. Yeah, that was that was definitely a misplay. Look at like we haven't we still haven't drawn a, a land yet. Oh boy. <sighs> Snapcaster off the top. That's actually that'll do. That'll do the that'll do the work we want. Wait, actually, what is the wording on Council's Judgment? Each player votes for an online permanent you don't control. No, I don't I can't I couldn't have voted for Mentor. I controlled a mentor. I controlled both Mentor and um No wait, I could have, right? Yeah, I could have. Because it's it's there it's referring to the, the person who cast it. Yeah, we could have yeah, we could have voted for Mentor. That would have been great. Sure. Well, that's pretty good. I think it's just Ojitai here. They have Counterspell, Days. Yep. All right, cool. Ojitai should be pretty resilient here. Oh, main phase top instead of upkeep top. That's good. I'm a fan of that. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. I mean, they'd have one less monk token, I guess. But we would also have Council's Judgment, so... You know. Decent. Yeah, that would be pretty epic, actually. That would have that changed this game completely, unfortunately. God, if Torrential Gearhook could get Council's Judgment. We do have a Mana Leak, actually. That's actually worth considering. So we go to 7. One, two, three, four. I think we have to attack here just to see what happens. Spell Pierce and lands. Okay. I think we're dead here. The problem is we can't actually... Actually, Soulfire Grandmaster blocks Banisher Priest here. Um, but it's really mana inefficient. One, two, three, four, five, six... God, I wish we had eight mana. <laughs> uh, let's take this, I guess. Like, Torrential Gear Hulk can't block Banisher Priest. Neither can Frost Titan. <clears throat> This is the only card that can block it, and this is six damage by itself, so unless we have answers for all of these, we just have to play this. Oh, we're in. <laughs> yeah, sure. So we actually take three and then one more, one more, one more. Yeah, that that stupid monastery mentor play really cost us the game there. That is unfortunate. Gearhulk can only splash back instants, not sorceries.
All right. I mean, we've we've. I feel like we've gotten manuscript both of those games. Like the first game, we had to mulligan, and we were like, I don't really like wave because they just have like. I mean, if we're gonna parallax wave to get rid of one Elspeth wave of tokens, it's not ideal. And like, it gets sort of banish your priest for a turn, but I don't think that's a permanent solution. This is and all right. I like it. I like it. Maybe they can mulligan. No, never. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of two and three drops that are playable if we can draw any of them. So we know they have days and counterspell and cryptic command. So good things to keep in mind. Man, venturing our own torrential gohog was such a good play, followed by the stupid council's judgment play, which is not as good. Opposition again? It's always opposition, right? <laughs> Just seems like MVP. Opposition. Days. If you want a daze and like bounce an island. That seems okay with me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got to wrap up a conference call. <laughs> okay. That's a weird wait, that's a weird time to be drafting, but Oy vey. I mean, we can probably win against this if we can just sort like we're at 18. We have 6 turns. Times that Venser bounce the land and then put sword on this guy. I think that might be correct. Because then it keeps them off Cryptic Command mana. Um, they could, like, go land Monastery Mentor. And then if we hit a land, we can go Banishing Light, Control, Banishing Light, and Equip. Like, it just gives us a lot of options. Whereas, like, if we, if we don't play... I don't think we're really in a situation where we need to worry about damage. We're at 18 life. I don't like bouncing on upkeep because they get to untap and play counter spells. Why? Would, I mean, like that seems worse. Like they just could have counter spell days or mana leak in hand. Whereas right now, Dockery, take it easy, buddy. Good games. If they have days here, it's very good, but what can you do? I think we got a lot of good Gotham's in. They also had Council's Judgment, actually, so we probably should have gotten rid of the planes so that they don't have double white sources. But, yep, and now they do. Ah, that was bad. I got rid of the island because I was like, well, then they can't play Cryptic Command. But they couldn't play Cryptic Command with three mana anyway, so I it defaulted to getting rid of an island. 
so that they'd have only one and one, but now they can just play Council's Judgment. God, the misplays are killing us this game. I don't like wall equip pass. That doesn't really do much against true name nemesis. Yep, exactly. I almost like sealing this to something can block, but uh Again, we don't get to hit a land here, so that's pretty rough. Any land here would have been great. If there's a land on top, I'm going to feel bad about not Wall of Omens and Converts, but we can't really Wall of Omens and hope we hit a land. Going to take another five here. It is a land. I mean, I feel like they have to have something here, right? Yep. Never don't have it. Sure. <laughs> what a joke, dude. Oh, boy. Now True Name Nemesis kills us. All right, a white creature that we cannot get through with a sword. That doesn't do anything. Attacking us. Yep, that is a two turn clock. If we if we activate Jace to land tax. Flicker Wisp, what do you do? Not much, but maybe. This card is really dumb. Yeah, I don't see. I, I I don't think. Not only do I think unexpectedly absent will be safe for modern. I actually don't think it does much in modern. I mean, the thing is, if we activate this now, we die. Uh, or if we don't hit something, we die. If we activate it next turn, we get to see one more card. So I don't see why we would do it now instead of next turn. I mean, they do have a land, which is a thing. The problem is they get to untap, and if they have, like, Mana Leak or... I guess they can't play Cryptic Command. We know they have an island in hand. <sighs> They're going to search for infinite lands this turn. Uh, activating then Flicker, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't actually Flicker it. It actually returns it to play at the end of the turn. So you wouldn't get to activate it again. So we're actually just making it worse. Um, the 
The problem is we just literally die if we don't have anything here. <sighs> Trinium Nemesis is such a stupid card. It's just way too... Yeah, that's just game, right? Like, we can't actually deal with... Flicking the wall doesn't do anything. We wouldn't draw until our end step. It doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't blink the creature. It returns to play at the beginning of the next end step. That's not what Flicker Wisp does. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just dead. We just play this and it does nothing. Can't even flicker with this idiot. Oh god, like that even matters, but... What does this do? You. <laughs> No, okay. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Can't be true name nemesis, I guess. Taking the land? What does that do? <laughs> what does taking the land to fire up colonnade do? Like we're dead on board. Either way... Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. For those watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm literally just ending the YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. Check me out on Patreon or uh, check my Twitch profile out below in the description. You can slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.